What's good, it's JB. I'm about to show y'all 10 shortcuts you must know on FL Studio. First thing I need y'all to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel. Let's get it. All right, guys, so for the first shortcut, you're gonna wanna go to your mixture track. Whichever track you have selected, if you hold shift and move your mouse wheel, it'll move that track. Down is to the right, up is to the left. So for the second shortcut, we're gonna go to the channel rack. Whatever channel you have selected, a lot of people don't think you can move these up and down. All you have to do is hold up or option on map. You can go up and down. This will not change the mixer track it's linked to though. So for the third tip, I'm gonna go to my piano roll. I know everybody's like, what's a fast way to expand the view and make the view smaller without it being tedious as to how wide it is and how small it is. So you're gonna hold control. And press one, two, three, four. There's different views, even the fifth view. You know what I'm saying? So all I'm doing is holding control or command from that and pressing my numbers. One, two, three, four, five. The next shortcut is just switching from song mode to pattern mode. It's just shift L. You can see at the top, going from pattern mode, song mode. So for the next shortcut, we're gonna switch recording on and off. It's shift R. This works a lot of beats playing as well. So for the next shortcut, we're going to be pressing tab. What tab is going to do is, it's going to cycle through the windows you have nested. And I would say nested means open in this sense. So if I have my playlist open, piano roll, channel rack, mixer, boom, let's press tab. It's going to recycle through all the ones I have open. For the next shortcut, I'm on the mixer. On the mixer, I know you like to right click to rename things, or you just think they're gonna automatically rename them once you link them. But to rename them, you can quickly just press F2. So I'm gonna click seven, press F2, boom. When you go right here and you hit the stop button, it says remember seat time. If you remember the seat time, that means that when you press space bar, it's gonna start where it left off. Usually I have that selected for my preference. So if I'm working on 41 and I need my cursor to go back to the beginning, I'm easily gonna press home. So this next tip is for those that like doing hi-hats and like using a chop tool. All you do is just highlight your hi-hat, hit Alt U. You're gonna chop it up just like that. So last, this is another important shortcut. You're gonna wanna use the page up and the page down tool to zoom in and out. This is page up, this is page down. If you want more sauce like this, subscribe to this YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Who's J Beats. You want to see behind the scenes of me in the studio? Or you want just a one-on-one -on -one situation where I can help you fix your beats? Go check out my Patreon link in the description. It's JB. I'm out.